The sponsor of today's video is Dr. Phone by Wondershare. Dr. Phone allows you to have all sorts of different system repair and recovery tools all in one app for the Mac and the iPhone. Check it out in the link below. Wow, there is no way I'm doing this. No, it is not possible. What? Holy smokes, the new jailbreak, the new 32-bit jailbreak for 32-bit devices. It's not possible. Like, literally, yesterday I made a video on the iOS 11 jailbreak. Today we're making the jailbreak for 32-bit devices. Just just unbelievable. What's up, guys? Stick up sure. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are feeling well because I am. And I'm, today I'm super, super excited about this new jailbreak. So, you know, it is just crazy how they, you know, even come out. So, yesterday I've shown you guys the new iOS 11 jailbreak. Today we have a new jailbreak for 32-bit devices. So, this devices uh, such as the iPad mini first generation, iPad 3, iPad 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 5C, they're jailbroken for life, for life, man. So you don't really need to care about jailbreak no more. You just have the jailbreak for these devices. You can do whatever you really want with them. So as I said, every single device that has a 32-bit chip in it is supported. So this is super, super cool. And today, guys, we're going to actually go ahead and jailbreak the iPad 4. Uh, and this is actually the fastest 32-bit uh, device that has ever been made by Apple. So I'm super excited as well as the iPhone 5 that I have right there currently charging. So yeah, of course, give this video a huge thumbs up and now let's get started. And okay, so first of all, guys, for this jailbreak, you will need a computer. So for now, just use a computer, but in a few days, you will be able to actually download this one from apps for the iPhone because it's gonna be assigned soon. Uh, maybe Tim Star, by the way, this one, this jailbreak was made by Tim Star. You probably know him, a really cool guy. And so he just made so many jailbreaks recently. So all credits go to him. So first of all, just go ahead and grab a computer, go into Safari, any other browser, doesn't, doesn't really matter which one you have, and just go ahead and navigate to this page. I'm going to link this one down below for you guys, and just click on uh, Gats uh, Helix, Helix, something like this. I'm not sure how to pronounce this one, as well as the City Impactor, so just navigate to this page and to download the version for your uh, computer. So for me, this is a Mac OS X version. So yeah, we can now go ahead and just jailbreak this device. So just go ahead and place your device on the dock or just connect it to your computer just like that and now we're just gonna go ahead and launch the Cydia impact room uh, so yeah there is our iPhone so I'm gonna just go ahead and drag this little uh, helix IPA onto the Cydia impact now of course provide my email and uh, password and now as you can see that's installing the Cydia on our device so of course uh, it's installing the Cydia in that application that we are currently installing so it's not a full installation through a computer but uh, the whole procedure we will actually make on our device so there we have it the Helix is already installed there's a little error right there but it's absolutely not a problem so just omit any kind of errors that you have in here so uh, should be pretty much it for this one and now let's go ahead and move on to the iPhone all right so on the iPhone we need to just go ahead and launch the Helix application or if you need to actually trust it in your settings just go ahead and go to your settings then of course scroll down to the general then profiles and device management somewhere here and then just go ahead and click on the certificate that you need to trust so for me I don't really need to trust it because I have a developer certificate so that's how it works so then we can just go ahead and launch this little app and hopefully this will work this time because as you remember last time yesterday I mean uh, the jailbreak did not work so I'm super pissed about this but anyway I will just wait with you guys. So now let's go ahead and get started. So jailbreak running exploits. So hopefully this will work from the first try. Okay, patching, uh, patching, installing Cydia. That's cool. Storage almost full. If you have that warning, that means the jailbreak is successful. Click on done. Uh, running UI cache. Okay. Okay, so it is restarting right now and probably my recording is now dead. So I need to recover this one. But anyways, hopefully the jailbreak works successful. So now in a few seconds, we'll see if this was actually fine. So let's go ahead and move forward to the other page. And yeah, we have the actual CD installed on here. Let's go ahead and launch this one. Yeah, it's just perfect. Perfect, guys. So it is launching and the Cydia is working. So let's go ahead and see if this loads like at all. And, uh, you know, I'm super excited to see that first menu. So we have the first menu. Hopefully everything will work. So, yeah, there's still some work ne that needs to be done up here. But we have the iPhone 5 Como 2 iOS 10.3.3 already jailbroken. So that is so, so cool. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just search for any tweak that we have. So, for example, Alkaline, uh, this one, okay, install and what the heck is that 
I wasn't able to locate the file for the uh, package. Uh, okay, so we need to fix that package. So what I advise you guys doing now is just go ahead and upgrade everything that you have. What? Again, you're not able to locate the file, so let's go ahead and refresh CD and probably this will work for now. Okay, so now we have a little suggestion from here from Syria. It says the complete upgrade, so that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So let's click on complete upgrade, so I think this will fix all of the errors that we have. So again, complete upgrade, confirm, as you can see we have a ton of packages that we need to install, so that's exactly what you need to do. So first, just go ahead and restart the Syria, then go into it, uh, just give it some time to load and then click on the full upgrade confirm and now let's just wait until this will do the job okay so as you can see relaunching city it doesn't give us any errors so let's now navigate to the search and search for let's say again alkaline so it's gonna be the alkaline install and again confirm so as you can see that's working perfectly we have uh, the substrate safe mode we have the substrate mode <laughs> working so let's go ahead and just check out if the tweaks work at all oh my gosh so guys this actually works so if you take a look at my battery indicator in the top right corner as you can see there is a new alkaline tweak that is applied currently to the battery status and it actually works so I'm pretty sure all of the other tweaks are gonna be working on this device and yeah guys I mean that should be pretty much it for this video really just wanted to show you that this new jailbreak is out and of course how to install it how to debug it and also answer some questions but yeah I'm all gonna also do this jailbreak on my iPad uh, for generation uh, a bit you know later because I don't really want this video to be really really big because I know you guys don't like this really big videos but you guys i mean this should be pretty much it if you enjoyed this video you know what to do just subscribe to the channel also hit that like button that would be super much appreciated and as always guys i really hope to see you around on my next one and oh and actually before i'm gonna go i wanted to wish you a merry merry christmas guys because it's probably gonna be the last video that i'm gonna do just before uh, christmas so after christmas of course i'm gonna be doing more videos but yeah that should be pretty much it hope you guys will have a great day and peace